The FDA said kids ages six months to four years old are now eligible for a booster of the updated Bivalence COVID vaccine. Today's announcement only involves kids who got three doses of the original vaccine before December. Previously, this group was not eligible for a bivalent booster. The FDA said kids in that age group who got two doses of the original vaccine were eligible to get the bivalent bo booster in December and should have already gotten it. And in D.C., lawmakers are evaluating support and resources for caregivers. This comes as millions are now caring for seniors and people with disabilities. Democrats are pushing for the Better Care, Better Jobs Act to boost the number of caregivers. It would provide money for state Medicaid programs to improve home and community-based services. Some Republicans agree these services are important, but say the plan could make inflation worse. My mother has to help me pay the rent and utilities out of her monthly Social Security benefits. If we didn't have each other, my mother and I would be homeless and struggling even more than we are now. Another plan would provide extra training for family caregivers. More than 30 million women in the U.S. experience hair loss, and a Dayton trichologist is hosting a wig drive to bring awareness to the effects this can have on women. She says people who lose their hair can experience low self-esteem and even suicidal tendencies. This wig drive is really important because a lot of times those women don't have the resources to purchase wigs, and sometimes they can be very, very expensive. In doing um, the wig drive in our salon, we'll take those wigs, we'll shampoo them, we'll sanitize them, and we'll make sure that we restyle them so they can reuse them. People can drop off new or gently used wigs at the Dayton Trichology Clinic on Far Hills Avenue or the Infinity Salon on Salem Avenue. A new study found 3D screenings are the best way to catch breast cancer early. Results showed the screenings have a higher rate of cancer detection and a lower rate of false positives. According to the American Cancer Society, breast cancer is the most common cancer among women in the U.S. And a person's five-year survival rate is 99% if it's caught early. And you at 11, we now know what's moving into the town and country shopping center in Kettering. Tonight, I stopped by the old Stein Mart here at the corner of Far Hills and Stroop Road. On Facebook, the company who manages the property said, this will be a Ross Dress for Less. I looked inside, as you can see, the space is empty. Well, the only thing I was able to see was a shop vacuum. No sign of any remodeling going on at this point. I did leave a message for the management company to find out when Ross Dress for Less plans to open. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist McCall Brydags. I went outside tonight, and I was glad I had my heavy coat. <laughs> yes, uh, I tell you what, McCall, uh, those winds mm -hmm. and, and again, those cold temperatures in the 20s with wind chills, but... Things are moving in the right direction, at least short term, right, temperature-wise? Yes, that's right. We're going to see our temps starting to climb back up as we move into the next few days. But that warm-up is going to be brief as we'll start to slide back off as we head into the upcoming weekend. Speaking of temperature sliding off, that's what they've been doing since earlier this afternoon. Right now, we are looking at temperatures across the Miami Valley. Sitting in the 20s, that's a lot in part to the fact that we still have uh, winds generally out of the west, northwest, and we have clear skies overhead. By morning, we are going to wake up down in the low 20s. Good news is those winds are subsiding, so the wind chill effect is not going to be as significant as it was early this morning. Earlier today, we did see a high temperature that was in the middle 30s. For tomorrow, we're going to see those temperatures climb to the 40s, and then by Thursday and Friday, they're going to warm up to about the low to mid 50s. We'll see a drop off, though, after Friday into the upcoming weekend where we're back down into the 30s. And even a few flurries will return to the forecast. So, again, that warm up is going to be brief for us across the Miami Valley. All right, looking at our forecast for tomorrow, we wake up at 21 degrees. Tomorrow afternoon, 48 is our forecasted high. We'll have a lot of sunshine throughout the day tomorrow, so that will make it feel a little bit better just because it looks nicer out there. Temperatures typically for early mid-March should be in the low 50s, so we're just a few degrees shy of normal. That three-day temperature trend that I just told you about, 48 degrees for our high tomorrow. 57 on Thursday and then 51 on Friday. That bump in temperatures will also come in with our next system that brings us some rain. Unfortunately, the timing is not the best as it comes in for your St. Patty's Day. Here's our rainfall forecast. By 5 o'clock on Thursday is when we see some showers developing from the north and west. Some of those showers will be steady, moderate to even heavy at times, right on through your Thursday night. This is shortly after midnight Thursday into early Friday morning. 
Scattered showers expected, daybreak for your drive into work on Friday. We'll deal with those showers right on through the middle part of the day Friday before they begin to pull away heading into Friday evening. So your best time on Friday is going to be Friday evening into Friday night when that rain pulls away, but temperatures are going to be cooling off quickly. We're in the 50s to 40s at times during the day Friday. We'll see that drying trend continuing into your Friday night with the exception of a few flurries that may return early Saturday. Saturday's high, much colder, 35 degrees, only getting to the upper 30s on Sunday, but the sunshine will be back in the forecast. Here's the seven-day forecast for you, breaking it down for you day by day. 48 degrees for our high tomorrow. We do bring in that rain by late Thursday, mainly Thursday evening through most of your Friday. Friday's also going to be a windy day. I see some wind gusts on Friday, 30 to 35 miles per hour. Colder weather settles in for the weekend, but then we turn the corner into next week, and those temperatures warm back up to the 50s as we enter officially into spring. Investors are worried about America's banking system, but economists have said they shouldn't be. The numbers they're looking at and that they say show the bigger picture. 